So this is so then you know how to put exactly back exactly. In. exactly. This is our guideline to refabricate the the, the window panel. <laughs> And we have here where the artist has been experimenting trying to match the technique that was used to um, the way so they, they is did Is these before. cuts like etched? That's, all etched? that's going to be made with a stencil and, and uh, I'm going to let Susan show you how. the windows too. That's that's paint. That's right. Yeah. That's on the outside, right? No, this is the inside. Inside, inside yeah. yeah. That's when they did the ceiling, probably. Paint artist. So these are your. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you're yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, the piece of glass that I'm going to demonstrate on doesn't have the white on it yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, you have to kind of use your imagination because since it's a demonstration. And, um, and then what I had to do, um, I have to come up with a color that looks like that. And we have made slides because we can't memorize all of our paints. And, uh, and they also fire differently than what they look like. Mm. So these are the two colors that um, we, that I selected out to get to, to that. And they don't look like they would go there at all. Mm -hmm. um, but when you put them together, this is a semblance of what they'll look like. Yeah. So, yes. And so I'm thinking, uh, a lot of times the um, old that. timers sorry, or the old windows use <laughs> um, pretty to. basic colors yeah. and uh, so you don't have to go into you know like all the color schemes that we would do mm -hmm. and uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do a test with this piece mm -hmm. uh, to see if I get pretty close and then I'll adjust yeah we do that. a lot of testing yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah before we do all that work that's what so all those are <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, wow, she's got a pile yeah. of slides. Yeah, she's slides. Okay, so what I've done is I took, uh, I, I take, this is called frisket paper, and um, I have, uh, there's other ways of doing it, but I'm experimenting with this one. Um, and what it is, it's a very thin plastic film mm -hmm. that if I, and I did this so quickly so uh, I could show you, but uh, you, you pull this off, and technically you can, you can save it. And I'll save it onto, onto this just for the fun of it. So we'll peel this off. And even if the whole thing doesn't come off, it's okay. Yeah, so I have to be fairly delicate. But the key about this is I have to make sure that that does not leave a residue on the glass mm -hmm. of any kind. So I could save that and use it for the next one. Yeah, and then this sure. has all the, the openings on it, mm -hmm. you know, all the white spaces. Let's see. So then, um, I'll just take that, and make sure that this is all good down um, solid. And then here's my paint, my red and my green. Mm -hmm. And I've decided 50-50 since yep. those are about the same value on the slide. I have to mix it really well. Mix the actual paint. Oops. Yeah. And then, you have to add gum tragicanth to get it to actually mix well smoothly. And you have to add a certain, if you get too much of this, it'll be 
on there so stiff that you can't, um, I don't know, mix it with this, um, that you can't get it off very easily, except to wash it off. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so that's a powdered material you've added to the pigment. Yeah, okay. Yes, it's just a, um, gum, it's, gum. it's gum tragicant. Yeah. Okay. It's gum. Yeah. That's the thing about painting on glass, it's actually, well, you paint trace lines, but when it comes to shading all, you're actually removing the paint. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of, I guess I call it negative paint. Water to get it right consistency. So it looked terrible. I mean, it just doesn't look like what you. Mm -hmm. uh, doesn't look like the that, green. Whatever, whatever. No. So you have to you have to be really. Um, and it may be that it is too red when I get it, but not necessarily, mm -hmm. because the green is often looks red, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the paint. Even though they're complementary mm -hmm. colors, is that? A um, yes. They're, they're kind of opposites. Yeah, that should dove all. The red should dull the green down. But the green often is a uh, a reddish brown when you mix it. So mm -hmm. and some colors you can't mix together. You can't mix yellow. Okay, so now I'll we'll take this one. See how it's all lumpy now? Yeah. Okay, so you have I I like to use my brush and smooth that out. So it don't you don't have any of that. Get it the right consistency. And then I need, I need to get this brush for a second. Thank you. Ooh, that's gonna fight me. It's not it's sticking yeah, it's to not. the tape and not sticking to the glass. Yeah, so that's a weird experiment. So it shouldn't be it shouldn't be doing mm. that, but it, it's maybe because I don't have the glass clean enough. Sometimes you can clean. It could be because I didn't get the glass clean enough. As I say, it's somewhat of an experiment on this one because it, mm. I uh, didn't have another kind of frisket cut. Let's see if I can get it to stick. It should come like this, mm -hmm. like yeah. that, and allow me to um, mat it. We'll see. It's not wanting to. Maybe the the frisket, in this case, is um, sticking to it so that it's resisting the paint. What it did right there. So I don't know. Hmm. That's, this. that's the same as shelf paper. Oh um, no. This is a very special. Uh, oh, it's not is, just like your regular contact paper. No, this is a very, very thin, uh, special for art. Uh -huh. I used to use it in DC all the time. Just wanted to see if it would, and it may not. It may fight me. Don't know. Yeah, it's gonna fight me. So there must be a resistance or something. Yeah, it's like but a, anyway, um, it's acting like if there was, say, there was an oil on it, you tried to put water on it. It's kind of, yeah, it, it is acting that way. Well, here, I'll just do this a little thicker so that I can show you on this end what it would do. I wonder if I lift those, whether it would resist. Yeah, it's still resisting. Hmm. Yeah. Look at that, it's still resisting. So there must be, nope, no, it's not. I don't know, I have to work with that one a little more. Okay, so then you take Get it so it's reasonably smooth. Yeah. And um and then something like right off that. It doesn't have a back. And then I can yeah, oops, then the, excuse the me. We have all kinds of strange can... tools. Dry it. The only time you can evaluate the, the darkness of a color 
is when it's wet. Mm -hmm. So you got only the time that it's wet to make another piece the same value and adjust. Um, and then once it's dark, it, I mean, once it's dry, it turns darker. And you cannot evaluate it Can at I turn right down for a second? Oh, sure, sure. And so you see that it's getting darker or dry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is and a little bit. Sometimes good. you can watch the paint dry. Mm -hmm. Do you see how it's changing yeah, it's changing color, it's darker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So once a few fires at it, hopefully it'll come out that apple green. Mm -hmm. And if it what doesn't I, match the pieces, she'll uh, she'll, uh, yeah, adjust. Adjust. she'll adjust accordingly. Mm -hmm. now but as um, far as the stencil So goes, now it looks, you know, absolutely wonderffully mm -hmm. smooth. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. and but firing the, it will change the the coloring. Yeah. But if I wanted to do it at this point, Matt, can you turn the light table off a little bit? Please? Light table off? Up. Up? Yes, please. Yeah. That's all so uh, you could torture yourself and also do it this way by um, scraping out. There's a stick. Um, usually I use a bridge. But you could go in yeah. here and yeah. do like this. Mm hmm. Um, it'd be hard to do that because you probably need the density of the, mm -hmm. but that is one way you could approach it. Um, we won't do it this way. <laughs> we'll do it as a stencil. Right, yeah, yeah. Oh, doing that. But with some things like lettering, you have to. Actually, I have my phone here like this because I use it for reference. Um, if I need to. I tease her because I know there's like 3,000 stained glass pictures on the Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm on always phone, taking pictures. To take pictures. See, here's today. one where I'm, I'm working on this. Uh, let me try. Let me try that one. So this is the original before um, uh, it got the paint fell off of it, mm -hmm. and this is the one that the paint fell off. So now I have to get it back to that mm -hmm. without going harsh because mm -hmm. it's. Um, it's it's older, mm -hmm. so you want it to look older. Yeah. And uh, but then again, you you want it to, to punch, so it's kind of a a balance. Um, so what I'll I'll do on this now is uh, somehow figure out what went wrong on here, and see if I can uh, um, uh, fix the concept. If I can't, um, then we'll use it like a paper stencil, and. Um, and this is, I um, mean, I'll, I'll test this color, see if it comes out that. So that that is not a wasted piece. And if if I wanted to, I uh, it wouldn't be a wasted piece of glass anyway because you can just clean it off. Mm -hmm. Just that's why I have all these <laughs> shaggy looking rags around that I go just clean it up and start anew. And uh, Thank you for the demo.